Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah halal family Welcome to the channel You beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to a vlog uh, Of foreigners uh, And their first impression of Bandung This video was suggested by Dilfa Dilfi Terima kasih Thank you very much Shukran mercy For your kind suggestion The video is by Rehat and Claire And the link is in the description In case you guys wanted to check it out So without further ado guys Let's get started with this video Hey we are Rhett and Claire. This is our Rhett last video in Bandung. Claire. If you haven't seen our previous videos yet, we highly recommend checking them out. We've been in Bandung for over a week now. So nice. in this video, we're going to give you our first impressions. And Two other videos from this area where we discuss this Braga street that we're in right now. Braga, okay. We cover the hotel we stayed in and we ate a Ramadan buffet with oh, a whole bunch of Sundanese food. So go check those out. Ooh, it's making me hungry. This is a super, super trendy and vibey area with a whole bunch going on. There's mm. tons of cafes, restaurants, that was a unique, art galleries, cool cafe there. all sorts of things to do. This is Braga Pemai, which we'd highly recommend you go and eat at. The food is really good. It's got a rich history. It's one of the oldest cafes mm, in the street. I think it's, it's been here since 1923. 1923, so highly recommend wow. checking that out. But yeah, culture, a lot of history, history there. and architecture are some of the main reasons we would recommend visiting I think visiting that architecture is from uh, the time of the Dutch, I believe. One of the things Bandung is known for it's cooler weather because ah, it's at a higher altitude nice. and That's it's in the know. mountains and away from the ocean. So the weather is a lot more pleasant. Mm. So like they were saying, being surrounded by dormant volcanoes is one of the reasons why the climate is a lot cooler. And mm. the humidity is the biggest change from Jakarta. It is a lot less wow. humid, which makes it bearable to like walk around the city and explore, which is really cool since there's a lot to see. And you don't get so sweaty and hot and need to shower three times a day. <laughs> why Bandung got so popular was because the Dutch decided to move their colony from what was then Batavia which is Jakarta mm. to more inland to Bandung for the cooler climate and also because it's surrounded by the mountains it's a lot it's easier to protect against invasions so the Dutch history in this area is very strong a lot of the colonial buildings still remain today and they really are preserved nicely very interesting to explore So I guess we can say that was like the um, uh, Dutch's wow. capital to some extent. Wow. Very green and surrounded by the mountains and the forests. And tree, some of those sure. forests still remain here in the form of parks. And it's just really cool to come out to these parks and just walk around. The other day we went on a trip further north. It was interesting to see the change from the Dutch architecture to the Sundanese traditional nice. housing. There's a whole bunch of amazing mansions and things to see up north. Wow. Is this a park? Look it's a big at the huge tree, tree behind us. This is what we mean about the greenery. It's and huge the big, big just big like that. Here. here we have like big trees that grow like this and tall but this one is like similar to like a, a tree's roots where they go down but this one's kind of goes out one of the beautiful things to do here in bandung is to take the iconic bandung transportation called bandros it is these cute little buses mm. and it goes all around the city showing you all the places nice. the guide like is bus. in bahasa indonesia but i think it's still worth it to pop onto a bus and drive around the city to see all the sites Unfortunately, we just missed ours because it's 5 p.m. It runs from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day and it takes about an hour. Mm, and it's only 10k per person, super affordable. 
Hopefully we can do it in the next okay. day to show you. Otherwise, still go ahead and do it yourselves when you're here in Bandung. One of the things I love about the city is how clean it is. There's people cleaning the streets, they've got places for recycling, wow. and it's just really nice. That's it's what I was saying, right? We all have the responsibility to keep the environment clean. Really cool. So Bandung is a very multicultural city as well. It's got beautiful mosques and churches as the one you can see behind me. Dots wow. all over the city. It's beautiful. That's all it comes down to, guys. Harmony, tolerance, you know, respecting each other. And that's what helps for a country to grow so There are various places you can stay develop. when you come to Bandung but honestly from our research it's either you stay in the north where it's a little bit more residential and quieter and more scenic because you're up sort of in the mountains or you can be here in the city where you're right in the thick of it surrounded nice. by all these cafes there's tons of hotels to choose from really high quality really good internet yeah, good and too. yeah I can't complain it's been a wonderful place to come and visit Oh, it's like really Modern, elegant, elegant cafe. To work, Bandung really surprised us with the amount of cafes and places that are really comfortable and all of them had nice. high-speed internet, so no complaints in that regard. We're getting a lot of questions about how we pay for things in Indonesia and whether our cards work here since we're from mm, South, Africa. South Africa. We found oh. that most cafes, restaurants, hotels, established places, supermarkets, etc. all take credit cards. They take Visa, MasterCard. We haven't had a single issue with that. And you can also go to the ATM and use your credit card to withdraw cash if that's mm. what you want to do. You will have to pay with cash at the local warungs, the small restaurants and places like street food markets. But otherwise we've had no problems at all using our own bank cards. So. I think like any other country, it's good right, to have so some cash, but major places Braga will accept Hotel credit cards. Yeah, in Braga Street. We spent a week wow. up in Swiss Bell Resort, Dago Heritage Hotel. Hotel. We spent the week there to celebrate Red's birthday. We Happy had birthday. some awesome meals. We had Quintanya and Alex come over oh, yesterday and delicious. we oh. ate steak and drank Make soju. Hungry, and then guys. we went out for some karaoke. And in the town it was a lot of fun and one thing that we've really been enjoying here in Bandung is the mm. hospitality and just the people are so friendly and accommodating that's a uniqueness Seriously. of Indonesia so Paula, not only Bandung so I think throughout example, Indonesia we just got to the Braga hotel again and we just received welcome drinks on the house we received a beautiful welcome wow. dessert and a pizza with a little note I'll read the note to you it's super interesting because it's a note from the general wow. manager at Swiss Bell Resort. And we're currently ah. in the Braga Hotel. Um, but yeah, here's the pizza. Oh. <laughs> I love thin crust pizza. I've already eaten some of it. <laughs> and here's the note that came with it. It says Swiss Bell Resort Dago Heritage Bandung. And it says, Dear Mr. Red Calvert, welcome to Braga, another part of Bandung City. Hope you will enjoy mm. the rest of your holiday in Bandung before heading back to Bali next week. Looking forward to meeting you again in wow. Bandung next time. Best regards, Danny Ferdals. It's Paula. General manager at Swiss Bell Resort. How <laughs> sweet is that? I don't know what we did to get such nice service and hospitality, but thank you wow. everyone. Thank you so much, Danny. We appreciate it. It's such a cute gesture. And because of this, we are so keen to come back to Bandung and explore That's more awesome. next time. That's we awesome. have never ever felt so special and we have never been so blown away by the incredible hospitality of a place. That place is Bandung. Smash that like and button Indonesia. for Bandung guys it and smash that like button for Indonesian hospitality. Every single day. In the next video, we'll be Jakarta. heading back to Jakarta and comparing the economy class train ride to the executive. Stay tuned. Okay, let's wrap it up here. Let's like I said earlier, this is just Indonesia. Every city, the people are amazing, at least from what I've seen. I haven't, you know, gone there to experience it myself, but I've come across Indonesians uh, he here and they've been really, really friendly uh, to, uh, you know, work with, to deal with. And uh, I can see it in the videos as well as in the comment section as well. And also through you guys' love and support as well as through the love and support uh, of uh, Mr. Halal uh, team. So amazing, amazing. I'm not surprised and I can't wait inshallah to uh, 
visit Bandung uh, one day. It looks uh, beautiful. Uh, the food looked uh, delicious. The hotels looked amazing. The coffee shops look so modern and uh, unique. So it just wants me to visit the place that much more, guys. So if you like me to check out Indonesia, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like me to check out any other cool videos, you can put your suggestions in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and we'll see you then.